Hey, what's up, everyone? Today, it's time to come after Little Debbie. It's all about processed sugar, where you can find it, and what it can do to you. You know, I'm sorry in advance, but I might ruin some food for you today. I hope that in the end, you'll find this to be a good thing. So bear with me while I take her down. Now, before I tell you what processed sugar can do to you, I gotta let you know where to find it. It's not as simple as turning your food over and taking a peek at the nutritional label. You know, processed sugar is like a seductive secret agent, aka Little Debbie. Look into it. You don't believe me? Little Debbie is found all over the place and goes by many different names. Not to mention, she lures you in with ease. Her other aliases include high fructose corn syrup, cane sugar, cane juice, rice syrup, molasses, caramel, and most ingredients ending in O's, such as glucose, maltose, or dextrose. With all these different names, it's nearly impossible to find her, which makes it more difficult since she is a master at hiding. She takes cover in obscure places like yogurt, vitamin water, oatmeal, peanut butter, and granola bars. And at times, she can be brazen. Then you can find her in ice cream, soda, cookies, and more. She's not worried about you finding her there because she knows how irresistible she is. You see why she's a problem? She comes in undetected, does her work, and disappears. All while leaving you wanting more. She's been doing this for a while, and we're going to survey the crime scene here next. But now you know where to look. If Little Debbie has been coming into your life for years, the aftermath, as you know, it's not good. It starts with the front and center problem, which is she can make you gain weight. A lot of weight. And it's not surprising, because fructose causes us to desire more food after eating it, not less. Fructose also raises our hunger desire to such a degree that it can do fatal damage to our response leptin, which is a hormone that helps us regulate how much food we eat, causing us to overconsume. Big problem, right? Or is it? You know, what's the big deal, right? It's just some sugar. Well, by consuming about 20% of your daily calories from sugar, you open yourself up to a 38% greater risk of heart disease. How do you get to 20% of sugar in your daily calories? Well, that's pretty easy because that's just over one can of soda. One can. Okay, don't forget about what was mentioned before and all the other places sugar pops up. What else can sugar do to you? Well, what about premature skin aging? Yeah, you can be the 25-year-old who looks 50. Think Benjamin Button. Also, processed sugar is a factor that has led to our obesity epidemic. And being obese opens you up to sleep apnea, depression, disability, heart disease, stroke, and type 2 diabetes. You know, there's nothing cute about Little Debbie. She is a stone-cold killer. So let's get this straight. Processed sugar is hard to find, easy to overconsume, and hard to kick off the diet. And also, it undoubtedly kills us. Is that enough doom and gloom for you? Well, you know what? It's enough for me. Do what you will with this information. Keep eating it, or don't. At least now, you know.